Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So this morning, I'm going to show you how to make one of the best buttered coffees that you will drink to just kick off your morning, give you some energy, and just be help you be fat-fueled, especially if you're on a keto. A keto diet and just give you all the brain benefits when you're about to start your meditation, do some deep work, go to the gym, get a good workout in. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I've been doing lately for my buttered keto coffee. Let's get it. So as always, you want to choose a good MCT oil, uh, coconut oil, uh, pure, pure MCTs from pure co coconut oil. Uh, this has been a pretty good brand. I like it. Standard 95%. Uh, Buried Treasure is the brand, and I got this at my local market called Rosars. I'm sure you could find this at a Whole Foods store, but yeah, guys, total fat is like 8%, and uh, you got the medium chain triglycerides, which is about 4.75 grams. Uh, it's good, and all you need is a teaspoon a day. And as always, you want to make sure you have a good brand of ghee. This is Fourth and Heart. Uh, fuel the happy ghee clarified butter original recipe grass-fed they have another um, kind that has uh, Himalayan sea salt in it so there's a kick there too that would give you some electrolytes and um, yeah this is a good pure really buttery ghee and I love it um, it gives it a really good texture in the coffee so and just for kickers uh, I wanted to add in some extra coconut oil just the ver uh, organic virgin oil this is from Spectrum. Spectrum, I've uh, done some videos on in the past. It's a really great brand, and it works. Uh, you definitely want to get the unrefined virgin organic coconut oil. That's the best. So, yeah, guys, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and I'll add all these ingredients, pour in the coffee, and I'll show you guys how I whip it up. So first we'll add the MCT oil. You want to have a good blender. I use a Vitamix, as you guys have seen in my previous videos. I do about two of these. So we'll do one and two. Next, we will add the ghee. I wanted to give you guys a look at this, this texture. So good. I roughly, <clears throat> one tablespoon is the dose, but I do a little bit more just because I like a lot of fat. So you want that, try and get that in there. A little tough, okay, hang on. That's how you know that you got a good quality ghee when it's that creamy and sticky. Finally, we'll go ahead and add some coconut oil. It's already melting. Not too much, I already got enough fat in there, so we'll just do about that much. Also, just to give it a bit of taste, I like to add in cinnamon and nutmeg. Should look like that before the coffee. And I always use my Pizzetti for a good keto cup. Strong brew. And we pour. Love this part, melting that butter. Usually, one of the last things I add is uh, heavy cream, but unfortunately, I had none, so all I had was this to work with today. After blending, sir, 